So here I am in Mali Meda, which is a Croatian little restaurant. And I've ordered myself some pork medallions and a pint of Phil's beer, believe it or not. But it is what it is. So this is the main food street, so to speak, in Zagreb, where you're going to find quirky little bars. Um, I've seen about three Indian restaurants, and I know that Eastern European people aren't really into their spicy food, so I'm quite surprised to see Indian restaurants here, but still happy to see them because I do like a nice Ruby Murray myself. But um, I'm going to find somewhere to have a little meal. It's not just about finding somewhere to have a meal, it's finding somewhere where it's got a table that I can sit down at um, and film progressively without upsetting other customers. But generally speaking, yeah, I'm going to have a look at one of these restaurants and grab something to eat. The trouble is, there's so many of them, you're spoiled for choice. And also, I'm trying to hold back on their beers until later on tonight because I don't want to be too intoxicated otherwise you won't you lot won't get any footage of this wonderful place couldn't have that could we so yeah one of the main streets in Zagreb where you can find bars restaurants food beer and um, I think as the day progresses and it turns into evening, you will find it's a buzzing little street. I don't know what it's called. Um, I will find out and there is a link below. So I'll leave it in the link below. And also in the link below, there will be uh, information on other useful parts of this video that might help you decide where you'd like to go to next. So yeah, coming into this main part of this fantastic little street with all these little restaurants and bars and typical little holiday sort of city, you know? Touristy city. Um, as I say, although this is a tourist uh, destination, there are a lot of people who actually live here. This is, uh, you know, some people's home where they grow up and born and live. But the beautiful thing about it is the chilled out atmosphere around here is amazing. You know, these people are just... I've, I've been living in London for a fair while and the rat race is uh, something you tend to try and get away from after a little while. And this is the absolute antidote for that. You know, people are just chilled out. There's no one rushing around, no one trying to catch a train or a tube or a bus in fact I don't think they've got a tube station they've got trams I don't think they've got a tube station but totally different atmosphere lovely people and uh, I can't really say a lot on the food yet because I haven't eaten any but I will do and I'll be trying it out and giving you my unbiased opinion my unbiased opinion as to what I think of it first of all I've got to find somewhere sit and it's really difficult to find somewhere to sit because it's so busy here little food place oh, that looks quite promising Croatian craft beer absolutely amazing El Greco Greek food really spoiled for choice I just don't know what I, I'm so spoiled for choice I don't know what I want to eat Greek, Croatian, Indian curry and I'm really excited about coming down here later on and uh, having a little drink up down here because these bars look amazing and I'm sure it's going to be buzzing later on 
But right now, I'm on a mission to try and find something to eat. So here I am in Zagreb. Fantastic little food street, loads of little restaurants, beer bars, anything you can ask for. Even got sports bars. Uh, yeah, looking forward to my meal, which is a yeah, pork medallions in a mushroom sauce with croquettes. Could be interesting. Oh, thank you very much. Good drink. Thank you. And a nice kind of pills. <laughs> so there you have it. Pork medallions, croquet potatoes in a mushroom sauce. Um, yeah, interesting. It cost me 77 krooners. Uh, 100 krooners is £12.50. You figure it out. So, as they say, proof of the pudding is in the tasting. Let's see what this tastes like. Pork medallions with um, croquette potatoes. Looks good. Nice bits of pork. Nice. So I'm going to finish eating this and give you my review afterwards. <laughs> So, I've eaten as much as I can, um, I've had to leave it because I found a lovely black hair, which I don't think you can see, lovely long black hair in it, and um, yeah, kind of puts me off when I find something like that. Can't be helped, it happens, could be someone passing on the street, um, but it has pretty much ruined my meal, so uh, I won't be eating any more of that. And I'll be giving you my review on this meal all together in a minute. And so my review on the uh, Pivnali Meadow, pretty much one of my first meals in Croatia. Mm. The bill came out to 77 kuno, pl kuno plus, um, I don't know if you can see that. It was actually 77 kuno, uh, plus 19 for kuna, plus 19 kuna for the, um, the beer. 
So that's about 97, 98 kuna. Let's say 100 kuna. 100 kuna is about 12 pound 50. So yeah, a little bit pricey I thought. And I found a hair in it as well. Now fair play to them, they did discount the meal um, and I only paid for the beer. So it was really, you know, as far as service goes, brilliant service, good customer um, rapport. Environment, lovely, this is Croatia, Zabrek. What more could you ask for? I've got to give it a six, mainly because the bechamel sauce was a very basic bechamel sauce. A um, bit heavy, a bit tasteless really. Um, pork steaks were nice uh, for what it was. Um, again, pricey, a little bit pricey, and I found a hair in it. But service was good, really good service. Uh, it's going to get a six, I'm afraid. And you know my reviews are honest, and uh, I, I try and be as fair as possible. But on this occasion, yeah, not too impressed. It is what it is. Chef's Travels, Kevin Harrington, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.